what I've got here is just a real simple setup, um, really for the purposes of showing you how the flood and drain cycle works with the bell siphon. Um, I just put a tank below um, and then another smaller tank that we have that you saw in a former video. Um, if you want to see how these systems look uh, finished out and completed, please take a look at the website, um, newstreamsaquaponics.com. Uh, there should be links. Uh, but anyway, I want to show you just how a simple flood and drain cycle works. Um, I've got um, this bell siphon that we built. Again, there's a video uh, showing you how to build a bell siphon and a little description of how it works. Um, so here's the bell inside. Uh, of course, I've got the media shield around it. Um, you take the bell off, you can see the inner, inner pipe which uh, again that is what determines the water level so once the water level you can see it coming in here and once that water level reaches the height of that inner pipe it's going to start to flow in there um, if i didn't have this bell on uh, the water would just drain out about as fast as it's coming in uh, but it would never drain, uh, flood the tank down or drain the tank down uh, so when i put this bell on um, and the water starts to flow through then it's going to create a siphon and um, then that's going to drain out I'll show you under here here's the drain so that water once it fills up will start to drain first slowly and then very rapidly I'll show you the process um, so we'll let this fill up and then when the then we'll watch the drain cycle start all right so we're very close now to a drain cycle starting, you can see <clears throat> that that water is just about to tip over. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bell siphon on so we can watch the siphon start. And what's going to happen is you will first see the drain just start to dribble out now that that water is full over the top of the inner pipe. And it's going to start to increase. And uh, you'll know when the drain fully starts because it will really be gushing out. Goes. And we got a full drain going. And you can see already that the, the water level is beginning to drop here. So that'll take it all the way down and then uh, I'll show you what it what it looks and sounds like uh, when it when the siphon cuts off. All right, so we're nearing the end of the drain cycle, and I'm going to hold this up here so you can hear uh, kind of the suction sound that the bell siphon makes when it's about to cut the siphon. You can hear it now. And what that looks like under here is we're going to get a fluctuation of flow. You can see it's slowing down now. So it'll kind of push out and then slow down, just like that. And then when that sucks in enough air at the top, it's just going to cut itself off. There it goes. I heard the gurgle. We have a cutoff. Water's still flowing in, so it's just going to going to fill that bed right back up. process continues. This is on about a 10 to 12 minute cycle, which is great. Got a lot of oxygen coming in the bed, and then of course you're oxygenating, oxygenating either your sump tank or your fish tank every time you drain in, because that splashing on the top is, is uh, breaking the surface of the water, um, releasing a lot of oxygen into the water. So that's how the bell siphon works. Um, look for further videos on uh, just how to make adjustments on the bell siphon. Um, those adjustments will primarily be done with uh, the ball valve. Um, I'll show you what a ball valve, how it works, but I'll also show you how to make adjustments. And this will also work for troubleshooting your flood and drain cycle if you're having problems. Uh, maybe the cycle's not starting or the cycle's not stopping. I'll show you what that looks like and how to fix it.